Here's the answer for question two from worksheet one. So we've got um, our data there. And again, um, we had our sample size there of 500 that we found before. So we can use all of that information. So let's look at the question. So we want to test the claim that women were more in favour than men. And we're, gonna, we're asked to assume that they're equal proportions of men and women. Okay, so looking at our um, flowchart here, we know we're still dealing with either no comparison or within one, um, a comparison within one survey because we've only got a single sample size there, all right? So we know we're dealing with one of these two situations. The question is which one of these situations are we dealing with? Um, so what thing we need to do is look at the question again is it's talking about comparing, testing the claim that women are more in favour than men. So we are comparing men and women. So that means in terms of our um, results here, um, we want to, let me just rub that out, we want to compare within one survey, okay? Because we're looking for the men versus the women. So that means in terms of my margin of error, I need to use this formula here. 1 over the square root of n1 times 2. And my confidence interval is my percentage difference plus or minus that margin of error. All right, so that's what we're looking for. So I have got my margin of error is 1 over the square root of n1 times 2. So my sample size is 500, and 1 over the square root of 500 times 2 is going to give me 8.94%. Oh, let me go back a step. If I type that straight in, that gives me 0 0.0894. Multiply that then by 100 to turn it into percentage, and that gives me 8.94%. Okay, so there's my margin of error. Now... My formula for my confidence interval really remember is that percentage difference plus or minus the margin of error so I'm going to write that down so it's the percentage difference plus or minus the margin of error so I need to find the two percentages I need the percentage of women and the percentage of men that are in favor of the policy okay so let's look at this data here so what we've got is in our data at the top there, we've got our men and our women, all right? And we want to compare the men and women that are in favour. So we're looking at the agrees. So we've got the men agree is 54.9% and women agree is 63.2%. So that's my percentages. So I'm just going to put them down here. So the percentage of men... Um, is 54.9% and the percentage of women find that is 63.2% and I need to find the percentage difference so I'm going to do the percentage of women minus the percentage of men um, so that's my 63.2% take away 54.9% and that will give me 8.3%. So that's the difference. There's 8.3% 8, 8, 8 more um, women in favour than men from the sample. All right, remember from the sample. So my confidence interval is that percentage difference, 8.3%, plus or minus that margin of error of 8.94%. So now I'm going to do the plus and minus. So I'm going to do 8.3, take away 8.94, and 8.3 plus 8.94. And that's going to give me negative 0.64% and 17.24%. So in terms of our confidence interval, so if there's zero, so our confidence interval here is from negative 0.64% through to 17.24 percent so there is the confidence interval all right now remember that confidence interval it's estimating 
for the population. All right, it's saying based on the sample, we're estimating that in the population of all Aucklanders, that the amount of support that the um, support for women is between this much and this much compared to the men. So if I'm getting a negative answer, that means that the percentage support for women is a slightly lower. If I'm getting a positive, that that means the percentage support is could be higher. So we're getting a confidence interval that includes zero, so the percentage support could be the same. So if it's zero, it means that that difference in the population could be zero. So the first thing I want to do is interpret the confidence interval. All right, and I'm going to say um, for all Aucklanders, the percentage support for from not for women from women um, is between zero point six four percent lower. Now notice I have not put the negative in here, all right? I haven't said negative 0.6%, I've just said 0.64% lower. That lower means that I've got a negative, okay? Um, and 17.24% higher than from um, the men. Okay, so there is my interpretation. Now what I need to do is I need to compare it with the claim. So the claim is that women are more in favour than men. So because I've got confidence, I've got an interval that includes zero, that means I do not have enough evidence that more women are in favour. All right. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I'm going to say, be, oh, go back there. Because um, zero is inside the confidence interval um, there is not enough evidence I can't spell enough not enough evidence um, that more women are in support Of the new policy compared with men. Therefore, I disagree with the claim. And there we go, there's our answer.